Hey guys out there, it's me, Sean. I want to jump right in and start telling you about how my background is not what I want it to be. Boy, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I keep telling you about acidity. I keep talking about um, alkaline and never really getting to the point or the topic is so far back in, in the production that uh, maybe you guys are not tuning in for it or hearing it. If your system is acidic, this is a problem that you can denote with having bad breath or having metallic breath um, or everything tasting metallic, foods tasting metallic. I have that problem. When I... Um, uh, when I want to eat something, I always have to now think, okay, is this thing going to taste metallic to me? I went out the other day and got a big uh, chocolate bar, uh, which is good for diabetics, everything in moderation. And um, my mustache looks funny, even though I shaved. Okay, everything uh, tastes funny. So if I'm thinking about a baked good, cookies, cakes, even ice cream and sorbet, I have to think, okay, is this going to taste metallic? That's because my system is acidic. I'm diabetic number two. My system is acidic. If you have heart problems, diabetes, um, any type of cancers, um, your system is acidic. That is your, 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 your body fighting against whatever is going on in your, in your body, in your system, primarily nanoparticles. I'm going to say this really shortly. Nanoparticles are produced in metallic microscopic entities that are produced by the cobble, that are produced by the CDC, that are produced by the government. They go to scientists, agencies and say, I want uh, nanoparticles. I want so many uh, thousands of them made or millions of them made. I want them placed in a certain place. Uh, within the body, and I want them to adhere to these instructions. These instructions are going to say, latch on to uh, the pancreas, latch on to um, uh, brain cells, latch on to uh, uh, spinal columns, and wait for instructions, and, and we're going to send, uh, uh, oh my gosh, like an entity uh, what do you call those like little helicopters? I forget what they're called. And I had one. <clears throat> they're going to send out little probes that's going to activate these nanoparticles within, within the human bodies. And then it's going to be activated. You're going to have these diseases. That's what I want to get to you about. An alkaline system is when you don't have bad breath, when you don't have night sweats, when you don't have those diseases that I talked to you about, uh, when you're eating good foods. Good foods consist of non-GMOs, uh, uh, genetically, uh, oh my gosh, I forget the, the ac acronyms, but in other words, GMOs are uh, placed in seeds um, that we um, that we plant for corn, for wheat, um, and um, is genetically uh, induced to make it a better crop, to make it uh, with to make the crop withstand against uh, uh, diseases and um, and insects uh, primarily. And then the humans, we humans ingest those GMOs and it turns up that we later have cancers and, and, and uh, Parkinson's diseases and blood uh, uh, difficulties and uh, urinary tract difficulties, uh, um, rectal cancers, colon cancer, uh, uh, what do you call it? Bone marrow cancers. These are all attributed towards um, the cobble and what their prediction, uh, what they're projecting in so far as depopulation. This is what I want to get to. If you have an alkaline system, that means primarily you're eating a lot of leafy greens, you're eating uh, cabbage, kale, uh, you're eating blueberries, you're eating uh, uh, bitter, bitter fruit, what I like to call, well, not what I like to call, but what's called bitter fruit. It looks like a cucumber. It's really bumpy. It's very bitter, and you can buy it in juice form, uh, regular uh, fruit form, a vegetable form, 
and cut it up, put it in your salads, drink it in juice and water and all of that stuff and get your system back to being alkaline. Um, the way you can test your alkaline level is get a pH strip. You can get one at, at the, any pharmacy. Uh, get a pH strip, strip uh, and you have to um, see what your alkaline level is. If your alkaline is good, you're going to be very much in the blue side. If it's bad, you're going to be very much in the red side. I'm sure I'm very much in the red side. Um, even though I take my 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 uh, my meds i also want to tell you that even though i'm telling you to eat leafy greens eat salads eat raw foods this is what i want to project to you people eat raw foods get rid of diabetes get rid of all that disease all those diseases that are um have been transmuted in your in your system i also want to tell you that um it's detrimental that um the governance of the world are out there and they're uh, depopulating uh, our societies because they only want a specific amount of people left in the world. So I guess they can bring down uh, other entities uh, to take over the planet. I don't really know why they want to depopulate, but people like Oprah Winfrey, people like uh, Henry Kissinger, uh, people like uh, Jacques Cousteau have always talked about how great it is to have depopulation because it's overcrowding in the world. It's not overcrowding in the world. Look at our cities. Look at our, our rural areas. Um, the only places that it can be crowded are, are, are cities like New York, Los Angeles, Tokyo. Those places are crowded. Yes, but we're God's people. We belong to God. We were created by God. And if God wants to strike us down, believe us, he's going to give us a flood, a uh, tsunami, uh, any type of uh, earthquake or, or natural disaster, and just we'll just be obliterated. Um, but those, again, those diseases that I mentioned are attributed uh, from uh, being or having an acidic uh, um, system, biosystem. You want to get rid of that. You want to, like I said, leafy greens, kale, spinach, uh, 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 lettuce, but don't get the iceberg lettuce, get romaine lettuce. Uh, you want to also put in garlic. You want to also make teas of bay leaf um, and also uh, tamarind, which I have right here, and I had a video for you the other day. Can't get the glare, the glare off. So ta sour tamarind, and you take this. You take this. It, it's not the greatest looking thing in the world, but the ends, and it's like a peanut. You crush this. You take the husk off. You crush it, and the inside is pulp and seeds, and you put this in water, you boil it, you make your tea, you drink off of that tea, and you're going to be good. You're going to dissipate your numbers of, of diabetes, and you're going to get rid of your, di your diabetes. Yes, you can get rid of your diabetes. Yes, you can get rid of cancer. You have to start eating raw. Dispense with the chicken and the beef and even the fish because of mercury. You want to... Um, have your system uh, be more alkaline or in the alkaline levels. Uh, I also want to tell you now that I said that, continue to take your medicine. If you're on a prescribed medicine by your physician, diabetes or anything, continue to take your medicines, but also make your teas, eat your raw foods, uh, wean off of uh, cooked foods, wean off of uh, fast foods. It's nothing good for you. I hope this has been really great for you. Thank you so much for uh, your time and patience, and I'll see you every Tuesday on this channel in Camp Film. I'm Sean Campbell. Again, thank you so much.